All right, good morning guys and girls. Welcome to the Bud Murray's YouTube show. We're out here today in the Gulf of Mexico and we're doing something pretty cool. We're tagging triple tail and I got Chris and Paul with me. Chris is with the Department of Natural Resources in Georgia and Paul's with the University of Southern Mississippi and they're gonna tell you a little bit more about what we're doing here today. Hey guys, I'm Chris Kalinowski. I'm a marine biologist in Georgia and we're here today working with Ricky to tag some triple tail. We're gonna be collecting some genetic samples, putting in some conventional dart tags and also implanting some acoustic finger tags. Hi guys, I'm Paul Grammer. I'm with the University of Southern Mississippi, the Center for Fisheries Research and Development. And we're here today to put those dart tags in. And Dr. Jim Franks in the center has been doing that for close to a decade now. So we're here to put those tags in. And with the acoustic tags, we're hoping to take things to the next level and learn a lot more about these fish. All right, guys. Nice big shrimp. We see a big triple tail out there. We'll be in good shape. Hey guys, we got a triple tail over here. We're gonna put these boys on it, get some tags in it. Let's see what we can do. This will be a good little guy for genetics. So right now we're just gonna take a little genetic clip off of this fish. It's a smaller fish. And the fish we're trying to tag today, um, we're, we're generally going to tag a little larger fish than this. So just take a quick clip on this guy, get a measurement, get him back in the water. So this is just a Floyd tag right here. We're going to put that in and put an external marker for the fish. If anybody recaptures it, it's got our, got our information on it. This will allow, when, if anglers or other researchers recapture this fish, it'll give us some information about site fidelity, if they're staying or going, what movements, growth, those kinds of things. So it's real basic, it's inexpensive, and we get a lot of good information from it. I think this 315, file number is 83. All right guys, we're out here in the Gulf of Mexico, right on the edge of Everglades National Park, and we're running some crab and lobster pot lines. We kind of just run the boat like this, you know, cruising slowly and stay just off the buoys and hook for them. You'll actually see the fish floating behind the buoy, and then we can go by them, stop, spin around, and pitch a shrimp to them. So we're going to kind of see if we can find some more of them here. All right, guys, we got a triple tail right here on this buoy. Chris is going to put a shrimp right in front of him. We're going to get him in the boat. Yeah, yes, got it. Cool. What we'll do is, uh, when we get this fish in the boat, we'll just go straight to the live well with him. There we go. Right. Got him. Like to use this D hooker. Not have to handle the fish too much getting the hook out. Comes out nice and easy, and no harm to the fish. So this is just a cradle that we're going to use to hold the fish while we're doing surgery on it. It's got a ruler built into it so we can take a quick measurement, just minimize how much we actually handle the fish. So we're going to use this towel to wrap over the fish as we're tagging him. Keeps him wet, it keeps him cool. Just helps reduce the stress on the fish. So we're going to get everything prepped up and laid out. And uh, what we always like to try and do is have everything on go so that when we drop the fish in the cradle, we can minimize that handling time. So what I've got here is the acoustic tag that we're going to implant. There's different sizes for different fish depending on the study and the life of the tag that's necessary for what, we're, what you're looking at. But this has some contact information on it here. And this is basically going to be this, uh, this little fish's ID number. So anytime he swims by, we're going to be able to look at this number will come up and we'll know which fish it was and when it was tagged. That's a great size to tag. For this project, we're really trying to tag some smaller fish. Um, to try and give them a chance to get out there and swim around for a while before they encounter the recreational fishery. So I'm removing the scales here so that we can make a small incision on this fish. Give it a quick wipe with an alcohol pad. Try and make an incision small enough, just small enough to get the tag in a little bit. Tear that membrane just a little. It makes it easier to heal. 
All right, so the tag is in. Now we'll put in some sutures, close them up. This wound will heal up really fast. I've been tagging these fish since around 2009. And um, I've had some fish that have been caught again just within a couple weeks of surgery by recreational fishermen. They didn't even notice the, uh, the incision wound on the fish. We'll finish it up. Just a little betadine and Vaseline concoction here. That'll help keep that wound sterile. All right. All right, just one more time, Paul. 1048. That's it. We're gonna put this external tag in so that if a fisherman catches this fish, they can call the number on this tag, give us the information. Give Dr. Dr. Jim Franks actually the information. They can learn where that fish was when it was caught and where it's been. All right, there we go. Second tag number 8694. Got it. Right. Genetics. Yep. Next file number 86. Yeah. All right, we're gonna get him in the water. Okay. Woo! Yeah, he was ready to go. There he goes. <laughs> All right, good job. I think man. he'll do just fine. Yeah. Awesome. All right. So we're all done putting our telemetry tags in for the day. Rick got us on the fish really quick this morning. So what we're doing now to finish up is just getting a few more of these genetic samples, getting a few more dark tags out while we're down here. One thing that's very important when we're looking for triple tail here is having the right sunglasses. And the key to that is getting polarized sunglasses. There's all different types of colors and shades and some people prefer one or the other, but the real important thing is just that they're polarized. These ones here are just kind of cheapo flying fishermen's, you know, $20 ones, but they do the trick and uh, it'll help you see fish a lot better. Hey guys, this fish has got a tag in it. All right, recapture. So when you get recaptures like this, you want to definitely read it and see if it has an acoustic transmitter in the belly. So if it does, then we would like to release the fish back in the water because you'll get more data points from an acoustic transmitter. So this actually may be an Anglo tagged fish. So we're gonna record the, the tag number on this fish, take a quick measurement. It's gonna be really interesting to see how these fish move and how they integrate with other fish that are moving up and down the east and west coast. Alright guys, well we just finished our day here, we're back at home base, Bud and Mary's. Chris and Paul were with us, we were tagging triple tail. They booked me for four days, but we got it done in three, so tomorrow I get to have the day off. Um, so it was really good fishing, it was a lot of fun. Um, you know, we're really appreciative of the work that these guys do, you know, they're making sure that triple tail and other fish are going to be around, you know, for my kids and their kids and their kids, so, uh, you know, it's really wonderful. Um, it was a lot of fun and cool to see how they do it. And uh, we're going to check back in with them in the future, see where some of these fish are going and what they're doing. And uh, it's just great to have all that information to know how to uh, properly take care of them. So that's what it's all about. All right, guys.